hey guys i'm so grateful for all the subscriptions that have been coming in from wherever in the world that you are just want to thank you guys for subscribing today to be honest like i just wanted to talk about um memory like i don't know perhaps maybe i'm the only person who um think about not able to remember things sometimes um perhaps maybe you find that you have misplaced things and not able to find where you have put whatever you have put down you guys and this is something that i think bothers a lot of people and it's not it doesn't mean that you're suffering from dementia or alzheimer's i think sometimes it's just a matter of your brain not it's not synchronized you know you're, it's not syncing with certain things I mean since I had my last baby that for some reason I was not remembering things like I put things down and just not able to remember and I realized that in recent time because I think I did a video on these teas that I've been drinking but you guys listen you need to get on this uh, chai tea if you have not tried it I'm going to suggest that you do because what I have come to realize like so many things that I have forgotten I will just wake up and they just start coming back to me not everything has come back as yet but so many things and i'm talking about since i started drinking this tea and i'm not going to associate it or in any way correlate it with anything else because i was not using other teas really that was helping my brain function in such a way but to be honest since i started drinking this chai tea the one that i think i did in my last video that has the cardamom the clove the ginger and the cinnamon all combined you guys listen this is like let me see if i can explain this 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 deserves a round of applause like a, a little um, well the only thing i can say about this is i really I'm, I'm putting you guys on to this you need to try this tea give it a try for like a month or so because i'm telling you you will not regret this there have been some things that i like i will put things down and for some of the moms who are on here like i'm not sure if you can relate but i think these children they tend to suck a little bit of your brain function because they are being born so much smarter these days and especially um with everything that is happening they are so smart and i think they do pull from our brain function because i i do somewhat consider myself a smart person but for me to just be so like i would i would say like the level of forgetfulness was to another level let's put it that way it was just like on another level kind of forgetfulness simple things and since i started drinking this herbal tea y'all like just things that i misplaced or things that i put somewhere it doesn't just like come back the same time but like over like a few days i just start to remember like oh yeah i that's where i put this it tends to really just opens up your thought process and you you think a lot straighter like you just start to your brain function just seriously improves so i am literally putting you guys onto this tea this chai tea i will make sure that i put a picture of it right here and i'm going to leave a link 
I mean, you can purchase it if it's in your regular store. If it's not, you can always click the link and get it from there. There are various um, flavors in this chai tea. So I would suggest that you try the one, the flavor that you like the most. But I would suggest that you try this tea because I know long term, many of us will, as we get older, um, our brain function can deteriorate based on uh, our immune function as well and based on how our lifestyle and for me personally I would definitely I'm not going to consider myself as someone who has a very bad lifestyle because I think that for people who have a very bad lifestyle everything they do is a habit it's habitual for me personally there is nothing that I do that I would say this is habitual. So when it comes to change, personally, I like change. I don't like to have things the same all the time. So I think that um, if if your if your lifestyle is something that is I would say monotonous when it comes to you know what you eat, what you drink, um, what you do, then that per that will more than likely play a role in your mental capacity over time and for me personally i would say that there is nothing that i do that i would say i consider it a habit so i think you have to really look at how habitual you are when it comes to certain things that you do as it relates to your lifestyle and then you that can give you some sort of idea as to where your health is going um, I think one of the thing with me too, even though I do follow up on, I would say I follow up on my health checks, um, there are some things that I may neglect if I think it's not that serious. But if I do think it is serious, then I will take it up in hand. And I will try to do something about it as much as I can. Sometimes it's not always to my benefit because I will go overboard but I will try my best to do something about it. And I think it's always important to try your best to do something about whatever is happening with you, right? If you are constantly having a headache, if you are constantly having, you know, eye pain, chest pain, all those things, you need to try to follow up on that because that is important. No, as I was saying, I am putting you guys onto this chai tea. I would suggest that you try it out because honestly, I think it can do wonders for your brain function, um, for your memory, along with ginkgo biloba. That is something that is very good for brain function as well. So I would suggest that you try that out. Same goes for um, cold pressed coconut oil. That is very good. Um, as it relates to brain function and research has shown that it can help to slow the onset of Alzheimer's and, and or dementia so that's something that you can always add to your diet as well that can help you with your brain function and so that's something I think you can add to your diet I would suggest that perhaps maybe if you're making like a, a salad or if you're making like mashed potatoes or anything like that that's how you can incorporate it there without having to um you know use it on the stove you don't want to heat it up too much so if it's cold and you're adding it to you know something like um like a meal like for instance if you're doing like porridge or something like that you can use it when you are you know sweetening your porridge you can always put a little bit there as well um then the other thing i mentioned before is the fenugreek the fenugreek is very very helpful as it relates to your immune function so there are various benefits to the fenugreek seeds that can help your body function well i would suggest that you try that that's something that you can use that can be very very helpful